I uh, diagnosed with ASD closure last year in March 2020 in Delhi only and it's since birth it's a congenital heart disease but I got diagnosed it uh, last year only and uh, I went to several hospitals in Delhi and Noida but uh, they only told me that only option that I have is open heart surgery. Uh, I don't want to go for open heart surgery in this age because uh, I heard about it that uh, there are several uh, complications after that. Then I searched for uh, various hospitals outside Delhi. I uh, contacted hospitals in Mumbai also and uh, Chennai and uh, several other parts. Got to know that the only option that in my case I have is a open heart surgery because it, it is a um, congenital heart disease and no one is ready to do it uh, in small incision. But uh, then one of my relative in Punjab referred uh, Dr. Satyaki Nambala. Then uh, I contacted him and then he uh, saw my reports and he told me that in my case uh, robotic surgery can work out. And then uh, I have done several echoes and contacted him regularly. And then I came to know that in my case, robotic surgery is safe and uh, it has uh, uh, more chances of uh, easy recovery and uh, scars will be less. And then I came here in Bangalore and uh, in Apollo Hospital, Bangalore. And then he admitted me for one day. Uh, one day I was in a ward. They have done several tests to check my... Uh, like regular uh, uh, my body ailments and everything and then next day they done the surgery uh, robotic surgery and one day I was in ICU and next day they shifted me to the ward and I really felt very well uh, last Tuesday I got uh, the surgery done and today uh, it's six days and I really feel well I feel uh, recovered this young lady I think she's approximately 32 years uh, came to us with a diagnosis of what we call a sinus venosus CASD and technically it's something that's called uh, PAPVC where the venous drainage from the heart is uh, abnormal by birth and she was diagnosed at this age not at a very young age uh, she's young and active she's also a digital artist and she's also a teacher teaching uh, digital art and uh, she was very apprehensive because she did not want to undergo open surgery, cutting open the chest bone at a, such a young age. So she came to us looking for what alternatives we had. And uh, fortunately for her, for about the last two years or so, we've been uh, dealing with this with robotic heart surgery. And robotic heart surgery is perfect for these kind of patients where you could actually divert the abnormal venous drainage within the heart to its normal route. So a robotic heart surgery for these kind of patients is done uh, routinely. It's very, very safe. It's done through very small 0.8 millimeter incisions or ports that we call. And um, patients generally stay for about a day or two in hospital. They're actually very good to go home the day after surgery, but we keep them for observation for one additional day. And on the second day after surgery, they're good to go home and by that week itself, they're good to resume all activities. So it's, it's something that's really fantastic for uh, patients uh, with these kinds of uh, diagnosis. And many other procedures also can be done robotically. And, uh, you know, with the current uh, expertise, patients can leave hospital very early without complications. I'm really uh, grateful to Dr. Satyaki Nambala, uh, Dr. Harsha, Dr. Mithila, Dr. Dharmesh and Dr. Kiran. Uh, who have just uh, treated me well. They have just made me realize that the life after this uh, surgery will be fine. It's as it is as it was before. And I'm thankful to all and I'm thankful to Apollo Hospital. Like just give us a uh, atmosphere of homely atmosphere, not a commercialized hospital and everything. And thank you all.